Hello everybody, in today's video I am finally going to be releasing my Sableye and my uh, Gliscor. So, as you guys may or may not know, I do have the shiny versions of these Pokemons. Um, I did get these from the daily recharge event. So, some people ask me, hey, I have like 5 bucks to spend, you know, I don't want to spend too much money. Um... You know, but if you, if I do have five bucks, what should I buy, right? So this is one of the things that are pretty good. Uh, it's 99 cents each day, and then on the fifth day, you get a reward. This one isn't the best right now, but sometimes there's really, really good rewards in here. And that's how I got my shiny Sableye, which was only $5, and my shiny uh, Gliscor as well, okay? So I got shiny Gliscor and shiny Sableye, so I don't really need these ones anymore, guys, because they are not as good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be releasing and resetting these Pokemon. I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm doing that. And uh, yeah, so before we get through that, let's uh, go ahead and do it. So very, very sad. Obviously, I don't want to do this, but um, I really don't have a need for that Pokemon anymore. So... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing me Mega Shiny Sableye here, and I'm gonna have to be releasing the other ones, and let's see if I have enough to rebirth uh, that one now, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and release this one here, which I'm doing because it's gonna give me all these shards that I need, and boom, 3100 shards, now when I go to this one here... Let's see how many shards I have, and if I have enough to make it star level 6. Okay. 5 and 6. Okay, perfect. So, we'll do this for Gliscor as well. Now, this one, unfortunately, when I release it, I don't get that many shards back. So, I'm going to be resetting this one. Um, and I still don't get that many shards, which kind of sucks. Uh, you can do 100% replacement, but as you can see, it costs 1,800 gems, which is not worth it. So just do the minimum one, because it only does 200 gems, and you do get a decent amount of stuff back, and it is worth it for 200 gems, in my opinion. Okay. So I'm going to reset this one here. Boom. And uh, I did have been saving up some gems over time, so I should have a decent amount here at least. So, same thing. Let's see if I have enough to rebirth these guys. Um, okay, you start level 6 there. Now I just have to make him to level 60. Okay. Oh, 30, 40, 50. Okay, 60. I, uh -huh. I went a little bit too overboard there, but 64, whatever. It's not a big deal. Let's see how many candies I have left. Okay, I still have a decent amount left, so it's not too bad. Okay. So, now what I can do, guys, is I can actually rebirth both of those Pokemon. And uh, what I'm going to try to do here, I'll, I'll make the Sableye plate first. I have a lot of extra of these plates now, so I don't mind, uh, you know, kind of going overboard with this. So, for Sableye, I want to make sure I have max HP, so let's do this first. So, this is... Uh, so we'll do 10 here, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, um, 16, 18, 20, uh, decreases special defense, special defense decreases defense. Okay. So this decreases HP, and this decreases defense. Okay. This decreases HP, and then this decreases defense. So we'll do the same thing, 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then... twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 14, 16, 18, 20. And then defense... Uh, how many? I've so that's six. Okay, that's six. So I'll just do two, 
four. Six, which is minus three, and then eight, ten, twelve. Okay. Okay, and then um, all I really care about for this is plus three because this is my stabilize. So um, attack speed. So two, four, six. Two, four, six. Okay, so that's a pretty good plate for me, for my Sableye, it's all I really care about. So now when I go to the Rebirth Scientist, I should be able to do a Rebirth for my shiny Sableye now. Um, oh yeah, I gotta max its EVs out, sorry guys. So uh, for this, I always uh, recommend using the ones with the most seeds. And make sure you're not using too many gems with this. So you're gonna max out everything here just to not make sure you don't use all your gems. Um, honestly, I might just save my attack and special attack ones. We'll see. Oh no, I didn't mean to do it for my speed, because speed is uh, the hardest bag to get. So don't make that mistake. Okay, defense. And... HP, 100, 200, 300, 400. Attack. And special attack. Okay, there we go. Should be ready to rebirth now. Select Pokemon and boom. Now we're gonna rebirth the Sableye. We're gonna see how much is available for it now. So I'm gonna go to my Sableye here. Mm. Oh yeah, it's level 1 now, so it's probably farther down here. But yeah, so if you guys ever get a shiny Pokemon, you guys can definitely do this. Uh, it does take a little bit of extra time, but in my opinion it is worth it. Because the shiny version is better. So my Sableye is going to be weaker here for a little bit. I'm going to have to go ahead and grind some shards here. But as you can see, I'm almost back to star level 6. And I just have to grind some shard replacement for a few days. And in the end, it's worth it because the base stats for the shiny version are better anyways. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing for Gliscor, guys. All I have to do is defeat these Rebirth Scientists. Uh, the plate for my Gliscor will be a little bit different. I'll be focusing on attack and speed and uh, HP as well. But uh, yeah, that's a basically tips and tips tips and trick video for you guys uh if you ever do get a shiny pokemon you do have the uh, uh that is an option to do to release the pokemon you will have to grind some extra shard replacement like when i go here i am gonna have to do some epic to rare shard replacement now to get some more sableye shards and i'll have to do it for the uh glist score as well but at the end of the day it is going to be worth it and i will be able to start working on some of my other pokemon now because honestly i've been delaying this for a very very long time and it's mainly because I didn't want to reset my Pokemon but now that I've done it I can finally start working on some other Pokemon that I've been excited to show you guys and um, you know you guys should definitely look out for those videos because those videos will be pretty exciting and I will be finally able to uh, rebirth my Gengar after this as well now so I will be rebirthing my shiny Gengar so if you guys want to be looking out for that video make sure to do that uh, I'm very very excited to um, Get that Gengar because I'm probably going to be getting its Mega Stone as well. I kind of do want to get uh, gear, uh, 
I'm not 100% sure on which Megastone I want to get yet, but I'm pretty sure I will be getting the uh, Megastone for the Gengar next. I just have to see uh, how high I can get it on the shard replacement, and then I'll definitely make my decision from there, okay? But yeah, guys, that's all you have to do. You get to Epic to Rare Shard Replacement, and then uh, I'm honestly getting pretty close here, so star level... Boom, halfway there already, and let's see how many candies I have. Uh, if I use these all, I'm um, boom, level 74, and level 74, and I still have 236 left, plus all these other ones as well. So, yeah, honestly, so far so good, guys. I will be doing the same thing now for Gliscor, but that's generally just a general idea of how, what you guys can do. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, guys. Join the Discord. I'll leave the link down, down in the description down below. Uh, if you want, click that join button, and it does help me out tremendously. And I have been playing another game called Minecraft Pixelmon. It's Pokemon in Minecraft. It's really, really fun. I really love playing it. If you guys want to check out those videos, do that as well, okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye for now.